Hey guys, it's Nishante of StylishShe.com. Welcome back to my kitchen. Today, you're cooking with Stylish She. I'm your chef, Chef Boyar She. Okay, so today we are cooking one of my all-time favorite snacks. We're taking something that was supposed to be super healthy and turning it into a super fat girl meal. I don't know if you know, but in my other life, I was a smooth 976 pounds, like butt naked, soaking wet, obese. I absolutely love to eat. So not only am I going to show you how to fry broccoli, I'm going to show you how to make one of my favorite dipping sauces to go along with it, which is ranch dressing. Oh, can we have a moment of silence for ranch? It is like the best thing ever invented. I swear I can eat it on anything. Anyway, I came about this recipe. I love going to Red Lobster. And if you've ever been to Red Lobster and had their fried calamari, then you know it comes with fried broccoli and the curiosity got the best of me because I could not keep giving them all of my pennies for this fried broccoli so I just wanted to figure out how to do it on my own so I just came home played around with some things voila before you know it is delicious the, the delicious y'all remember that what was that love and hip-hop thought that delicious so ratchet I'm sorry anyway so what you're going to do is get some broccoli frozen or fresh it doesn't matter I prefer frozen because I don't really like chopping all that stuff just being honest and then you can find whatever kind of breader you like I prefer this chicken breader no it sounds a little ratchet because it's for chicken but it works so good just trust me so we're going to use this and I'm gonna show you guys how I mix everything together Okay guys, now we're moving on to mixing everything. If you followed my cooking show before, then you know I've made it abundantly clear that I don't really measure. So what I'm gonna do is put the camera right into the bowl so you guys can see exactly what I'm doing and hopefully you can get a good gauge of what I'm mixing together. So I'm going to put the chicken breader into the bowl. I'm not going to do too much. I don't want to cook a lot. I am restricted from fried foods. As my trainer told me yesterday, I appear to be gaining weight. I wanted to punch him right in his throat. But I digress. All right. So we're going to mix the chicken breader with one egg. An extra large egg. And then mix in a little 2%. Like I said before, you want the consistency of like Jiffy Mix um, pancake batter. That's what we're going for. You're gonna stir that until it's smooth, and then what I'm gonna do is add in my seasonings, which I've already pre-mixed for you. It's garlic powder, a little bit of Cajun, Tony Satchard's total seasoning, and then I love this New Orleans seafood seasoning. It adds a little kick to everything, so I always put that in my food. And you're just gonna shake some of that in. You don't want it too salty. I actually made too much, but you do want it to have good flavor. Add just a pinch more. So now, that's the consistency that we're looking for. Smooth, very few lumps, not too thick, and not too thin. So this part gets a little bit messy. You're just gonna drop the broccoli in the batter. And should probably take my rings off of this. We're gonna coat it. I like to do it with my hands, get in there, make sure it's all coated. I mean, I'm cute, but this ain't for the cute people. Like, we don't cook cute, y'all. Okay. 
while we're mixing this this would be a great time to go ahead and add the um your grease start heating your grease up on the stove I like to let it sit for just a bit before dropping it in the grease. All right, now that we have let it sit and soak for a bit, we're just gonna drop it in the grease. You're gonna let them get a little golden brown and then they're done. It doesn't take much at all. I would say about ugh, three minutes, three to five minutes. So I'm gonna stop and flip and make sure none of them burn. That's the golden brown that you're looking for. Make sure that when you're frying anything, you want to absorb some of the grease. So make sure that you place it on a paper towel. Because don't nobody want no greasy food. Okay, so here is the second way that I fry broccoli. You can find this in your seafood section of the grocery store. Louisiana fish fry. I absolutely love this stuff. I use it for shrimp, uh, fried broccoli, chicken. I use it for a lot of things. It comes already seasoned, but I like to add my own seasoning. Now, if you caught one of my earlier videos, I did say that I like to mix things up in a nice Kroger bag, a nice grocery bag. But I didn't want y'all to think of me as being hashtag the branch. So I got fancy and I got little brown paper set. Ain't that fancy for the people? Same seasonings as before. I'm just gonna dump those in there. Shake it up. If you've ever used Tony Satch, <coughs> Tony Satch's, then you know my struggle. So that's all you need. And you're just gonna drop the broccoli into the bag. I totally just threw one on the floor. This way is a lot quicker. It really just depends on what I have the time for and the taste for because they have two different textures. And then you're just gonna shake it up. Then we're gonna head over to the stove and drop them in the grease. Okay. I've had about enough of class. That's all I can take. We don't have to rip this bag so that we don't have to get so far down in. And we're just going to drop them in the grease. Guys, this is really a tasty treat. Like, I love fried broccoli with all my heart. All right, same as before, we're gonna give it about three to five minutes to cook, probably not even that long once it gets a good crisp golden brown. We're gonna pull it out of there so it doesn't burn. Nobody likes burnt broccoli, guys. Okay, you can see the difference in how they're breaded. Try to shake off any excess grease. Like a 
that's it guys fried broccoli up next i'm going to show you guys how to make homemade ranch dressing because if you don't like ranch seriously like what's your purpose for living like why are you here why are you here if you don't like ranch these are questions that need answers guys Okay guys, now it's time to make that ranch. I've already pre-mixed everything so that it doesn't take too long. What I have here is Duke's mayo and I've mixed it with sour cream. We're going to dump in some buttermilk. This is minced garlic, dill, chives, and parsley. And lastly, we're going to add a little Worcestershire sauce, Tabasco sauce, lemon juice, and white vinegar. Not lastly, because I still have to season. We're gonna give it a little dash of cayenne. That was probably too much, but okay. And because I like garlic powder, we'll add that. And a little total seasoning. and we're just gonna mix it. The ranch is done, guys, and it's so delicious. It goes through a process where it starts to look brown because of the Worcestershire sauce, but it gets back to the right color. I personally like my ranch thick. I don't like watery ranch. So in that case, you don't add as much buttermilk and that's the consistency. Let me tell you something. Don't pan that camera up so I can tell these people the stuff. Let me tell you the stuff about the people at the place doing the things. Don't let this fashion thing fool you. Like, I am nice in this kitchen. Like, whipping these pots and pans. You don't know no other chick with titanium and steel gray hair that make their own ranch. Hello. Okay. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So that's it, guys. Today we have made fried broccoli, not one, but two ways. And we made homemade ranch. And it is delicious. I want you guys to try it. Tell me which one you like better. Leave your comments below. Thanks for tuning in as always. I'm Nishante of StylishShe.com and you're cooking with Chef Boyar Shee.